it down a little bit? Just a smidge? Well, hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home, and today is Sunday afternoon. In fact, we actually just walked in the door a few minutes ago. I'm still in my Sunday clothes. <laughs> my kiddos are with their grandparents for the afternoon, and I think that I'm going to do a kitchen day this afternoon. There's something about Sunday that just makes me want to prepare for the week ahead. We just also came back from Costco. I'm strategically hiding all the Costco purchases that are still on the table that we haven't even put away yet. I wanted to film this intro and then get into the, get into my day. I hope you will come along with me and busy yourself in your kitchen as I'm working in mine. Let's go. Okay friends, so the day has not gone as productive as that I hoped that it would. However, I have been busy, busy, busy. Unfortunately, I haven't created a lot of food with my hands. We got so much food at Costco and meats and things that need to be stored properly um, that I really needed to go through my fridge and kind of declutter it, um, get things ready to go for the upcoming week. I ended up washing out my fridge and my freezer as well and organized them. I will show you those at the end of this little segment here. I did uh, hard boil some eggs, so I have eight eggs that have hard boiled. I'm not going to peel them. Um, I really do like to peel them because, oh gosh, it makes life so much easier, but my energy is waning. I'm going to film this and then I'm going to go sit and read for a few minutes before my littles come home. So I've got the eggs done. I went ahead and I fried up, um, how many eggs? Four, eight, twelve. Twelve, um, what do you call it? Eggs. 12 eggs. <laughs> these, oh, looking at them, I would not even eat these. These, I am so picky about my eggs, it's unbelievable. However, these are going in Egg McMuffins, and I'm not going to show that whole process simply because I did in my first video on, um, on my kitchen days. So I will leave that linked, and you can go check that out. Um, anyways, but those are going to cool for a bit, and then I will go ahead and assemble those this evening. I have my lettuce out. I haven't yet touched this because goodness knows we were just, the fridge is just full. I'm going to wash these and my plan is to actually chop these all up as well. This probably won't get taken care of today. Um, I need to get these back in the fridge. However, the problem was is that I just, like I said, we just didn't have the space. I did lots of dishes. We got these new cereal containers at Costco. So there's three of them. Um, and everything is just drying here. This is actually my second load of dishes. And then this is part of my my mess on my counter that I just I gotta get taken care of. So the water can't fit in the fridge right now. Um, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do with these tortillas, whether I'm gonna leave them out. We always do Taco Tuesday, and that's in uh, two days at the time of filming, so I'll probably leave them out. Um, some of the cereal that's gonna go in the cereal containers um, but they need to dry really well first. So now I'm going to turn you around and share with you what is the fridge looks like. Okay, <laughs> so here is the fridge. It is a discombobulated mess. Um, we bought a lot of meat and the meat has to get taken care of this evening. So that's why I'm going to go have a bit of a break and then deal with this all later this evening. So we have hamburger on the bottom, steaks on top. The steaks we're going to have probably tomorrow for dinner, so those will actually just stay fresh in the fridge. Um, we bought a huge, <laughs> can you even see how big that beast is? A huge pork loin um, center, what is it? Let's see, a boneless loin of pork center. So we are gonna actually chop this up into pork chops. Um, and maybe larger sections for pork loin roast. I'm not really sure. I have to look up what we're going to do because this is new to me. Um, but anyways, this piece of meat is huge and as you can see, it's taking up a big portion of my fridge. Underneath, I have got chicken and the chicken, again, I'm probably going to uh, cook up a few breasts of that and then the rest I'll freeze. We've got veggies left over from last week. This is my husband's lunch for tomorrow. And let's see what else. We got lots of milk. My eggs usually all go right here. This is just kind of what's fitting right now. Um, yeah, so that's what the fridge looks like. And let me show you the freezer because I organized this as well. 
Over Christmas, we got a deep freezer and I'm trying to sort out what I wanna store in this upper freezer and what I wanna store in the deep freeze. So for now, I've got, these are all of our uh, veggies that are opened and um, I usually just do frozen veggies as a side for dinner. They're quick, they're fast, they're easy. So I've got all of my open containers and packages here in this shoe box. I've got some open packages of um, frozen fruit here. I think there's like four packages. In the bottom container here, I think what I'm going to keep in here, initially I had um, bone broth in here, but we went through all of that in the past couple weeks. And until I get some more, right now I'm gonna store my baked goods. So all that's in here is a loaf of bread that I baked at my last, last kitchen day. We are just really cutting down on the bread we're consuming, so that has just really lasted quite a while. And then in the top is uh, frozen cuts of meat. Now I have a ton of meat in my deep freeze as well, uh, but this is just what's in here. And then up here I've got um, some tortillas for Trim Healthy Mama and some buns for Trim Healthy Mama, a lasagna, and then a meatloaf on the side. And the door looks like this. We've got our butter here. I do freeze my butter. We've got one more that needs to go there. So I gotta go find that in all the, the grocery stuff. These are my daughter's ice packs for her lunch and behind is my dark chocolate. This is a bag of vegetable ends um, for stock. I just save them all in a freezer bag. And some, per some pierogies and then ice cream. So, oh, I cleaned everything out and got it all ready. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go rest and then hopefully I will be able to show you a little bit more of what goes on this evening. And I'm guessing probably tomorrow I'm gonna work on this as well because it's 5.30 and Mama's energy is waning. <laughs> Day, true to form life got really crazy and I didn't get to bake a whole lot so I am going to make some granola right now I got my large bowl to mix in a smaller bowl for some of the wet ingredients the recipe calls for freeze-dried strawberries and goji berries or coconut or sorry cranberries um, I don't have either I meant to pick some up at the box store but I didn't have time so I may add some unsweetened coconut instead. This is for a coconut flavored um, granola. I will have the recipe linked down below. There are egg whites, coconut extract, vanilla extract, rolled oats, um, salt, some coconut flour, and then I'm using gentle sweet. So the original recipe calls for stevia. I don't have stevia. In the recipe, she also lists how much sugar it would be. I believe it's half a cup. Don't quote me on it. Make sure to check the recipe if you do want to make this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this recipe started.
Well, hey guys, so here's a bit of a check-in for the kitchen day. I'm finding that this is sort of turning into a few kitchen days. Um, my ideal would be to start in the morning and do all of my prep work in one shot in one day. However, my schedule in life doesn't <laughs> really match up with that. Um, and so I'm finding that I'm just working in bursts of time over a period of days. So that's kind of why you're seeing me in different outfits and, you know, different shots during the day. So right now I am going to work on slicing some peppers and also the pork loin roast. First, I'm going to do the peppers. Um, my plan is, <laughs> we're not real big pepper eaters. Um, not the hugest fan of them. However, I've been really craving like sauteed sort of caramely kind of peppers with our taco nights. So that's what I'm going to be uh, doing. However, we got the peppers at Costco and there's a lot of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop them all up. I'm going to flash freeze them. First, I have to make sure that I don't need to actually um, uh, blanch them first. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll do that and you'll see whatever I need to do um, with that. <laughs> um, and anyways, then I'll flash freeze them and then I'm going to portion them out in a bag or something. I don't know what yet. And put them in the freezer. So um, that's what I'm doing. Uh, then I'm going to clear all that off and then I'm going to section off the pork roast into pork chops. So never done that sort of thing before, but... Apparently you just need a good sharp knife and the will to do it. So um, that is what we're up to in these moments. So let's go. Side note about those granola bars I made earlier. Whoa, my kids love them. Love them, love them, love them. I have been trying to wean them off of crackers. Um, I'm speaking quiet because they're in the other room. I've been trying to wean them off of crackers. I feel like for a long time, crackers were a big staple in their diet and I've been trying to wean those out into more healthier options. They have been loving these granola bars. In fact, we have a couple packs of, one pack of crackers um, in the pantry. And when they have an after school snack, a lot of times they'll get crackers. However, today they wanted the granola bars and they are loving them. And my husband is too. So I'm really excited because I'm seeing kind of a light at the end of the tunnel as far as transitioning and baby stepping my family into more kind of healthier options. Um, so I'm excited about that. So I had to fill you in on that. I will leave a link to the granola bars and any recipes always in the description box. I am, however, probably going to do a whole dedicated video for these granola bars because they're such a hit. So. Um, Stay tuned for that at some point. I haven't filmed it, but it will come. Um, however, you can find the recipe in the description box if you want to go ahead and try them yourself. I've taste tested them and whoo, they were good. So, all right, let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, so now we're moving on to sectioning out this pork loin center huge cut of meat. Um, we bought this for $19 at Costco, and I'm going to be able to get so many pork chops and a couple pork roasts out of this loin. I googled how to cut a pork loin roast, um, and I'll leave that link down below if I... If I remember, I'm just trying to post that down below um, so that you can see that. I may be a little skint on clips of this next part because I know some people uh, 
don't like <laughs> like raw meat and I'm a little bit one of them kind of almost I don't know anyways big thing here we go so one thing that I've done is I pulled out my big wooden cutting board you kind of see it next to my stove in some of my videos it's a little bit of decor however it's not really I use it um, wiped it off really good clean my knife I've put a tea towel underneath of the cutting board um, and the tea towel is a little bit moist uh, so that the cutting board will not slip. I am going to cut the pork loin out of the packaging and give it a good rinse. Um, I don't know, I always like to rinse uh, meat, not ground meat, but I like to rinse meat before I do anything with it. So that's all I'm going to do. Okay, so here's this big, huge piece of meat on um, my largest cutting board. And as you can see, it's kind of hanging off. So I'm going to section this off into pork chops as well as pork loin roasts. Um, I also have um, my cookie tray here. I've got some tin foil on it just to sort of help. I'm not going to be flash freezing this, but I just it'll be easier cleanup for me. Um, you just want to be really careful with raw meat. So... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So there's four parts of the loin, and there are some parts that are uh, more suitable for pork chops than others. Um, so I decided to leave these two parts here. This is part of the blade, um, and that I'm going to use for a roast. And then this part as well I'm going to do for a po pork roast. So I'm going to package those up. I'll rinse them off again. Um, juice has collected inside of my little cutting board here. This cutting board is from Pampered Chef and I love that it has a well around it so it's really great for cutting meat. And on the other side, it's a double sided thing, it's it's scooped out so it's good for carving a turkey because it holds your bird in, the, in a good spot. Okay and then I cut 18 uh, pork chops. So here they are kind of all laid out. I'm going to set aside a few for the rest of the week for um, for uh, dinner. <laughs> Sorry, losing my train of thought. Um, again, yeah, this process was so easy and so simple. So if you do come across a good deal on a pork loin roast, I don't think they're all that expensive, actually. Um, but I got some amazing, you know, just using a little bit of time, I was able to save my family a significant amount of money by um, just cutting this myself. I trimmed off some bits of fat with my scissors here, my kitchen shears. I probably do need to sharpen my knife. It hasn't been sharpened in a while and the process may have gone even quicker, um, but I'm really pleased with myself. So anyways, there you go. So one final look here at the pork loin as it's uh, getting ready to go into the freezer. I have 12 chops right here that are going into the freezer. Nice, beautiful chops. I've got seven sort of scrawny-ish chops, um, and these are going to be for later in the um, week for dinner, probably tomorrow, I'm guessing. And then we have one really nice roast, and then the blade roast, which will be really great. We'll probably do this one with uh, barbecue sauce in the crock pot. So that is a final look at all of that. 